Stephen Foster getting into the paint, attacking the defense. Elias Harris slides in just a little bit. Might be a similar call as to what Atanga got a few possessions ago on David Stockton. And Foster already with 17 points. He's six points away for 2,000 for his career. He already holds the scoring number for Santa Clara, taking down the record held by Kurt Rambis. And when you think about the fact he missed 18 games last year, that's even more remarkable. Pick and roll, Harris with the flush from Pangos. Great probe off the pick and roll there, Kevin Pangos getting the big to commit. Great pocket pass, dunk Elias Harris. Harris with nine, two rebounds and one assist. Stars in this game have come to play. There's Rockamore over Grant Guinness. Grant Guinness may have gotten a finger on that. Here's Olenek running the point. Got it to Grant Guinness. Now the skip pass too high for Bell. But Harris is able to corral the loose ball. Bell inside scores. Better offense now for GU. Everything starting from the inside. And right there, you see Harris. Picks it out, extra pass from Grant Guinness, allows Bell to make that move to the rim. Better offensive possession. Bell knocked to the floor, here's a shot. That's off. Atonga the rebound and a reset. Here's Foster again, trying to get around Pangos. Missed it. And Grant Guinness runs it down, beat Grassolini to it. Olenek and Grassolini really battling inside. Olenek spins, trying to get there, and does. That's a big body. 13 points for Olenek. He's hard to stop. He just covers so much ground with his footwork. Dresselini played excellent defense, challenged the shot, nearly got the block. Kelly just bigger and stronger around that rim. Olenek now 6 of 7 from the floor. And free throws coming here as Olenek picks up his first personal foul. That'll be six on Gonzaga with 338 to play first half. Kerry Keating has got to feel good about his team to this point with 338 to play. They trail Gonzaga by five with free throws coming. Elias Harris off to his usual start for Gonzaga. We'll be back. Welcome back to the Levy Center in Santa Clara. The Broncos trailing number 10 Gonzaga 35-30. Guys, we're watching some basketball pretty high level here tonight. Hey, these two teams have come to play. It's been a great first half. Santa Clara's got it going from the outside. Kevin Foster, 17 points on 6 for 12 shooting. But Kelly Olenek is really carrying this Gonzaga ball club right now. 13 points on 6 for 7 from the field. And Rockamore settling in at the free throw line. Richard already five assists. He's a 3.62 assist to turnover ratio guy. Is this the best point guard, a true point guard in the West Coast Conference? Well, he's, now in, the, he's now in the conversation as a junior. I think Ireland and Haas at BYU, Ireland at uh, LMU and Haas at BYU would have something to say about that. But he is about as good as it gets in the league, particularly, like you said, Greg, as a true point guard. There's Pango speaking of great point guards. But we can't forget about Matthew Della Vidova either. It yes. seems like he's been there yeah. for years at St. St. Mary's. Yeah. So I mean, he's got he a 2.0 assist to turnover ratio. Yeah. 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 He's become a lot more of a shooting guard for them, though, given the fact that he's easily, easily their best scorer from the perimeter. Yeah, but I think anybody would say your point guard does whatever it takes to get your team the best opportunity to win games. And that's what Matthew Della Vidova does at St. Mary's. Oh, Lennon. That's really too easy. 15 points now for the big guy. Yeah, right now, just Gonzaga can anything they want inside. We've got 20 po 22 points in the paint to Santa Clara's eight. Not a lot of resistance around that rim for the Broncos. Foster with a little of an opening. And that's off. Gonzaga got away with one there. You go to zone, you've got to locate shooters, namely being Kevin Foster. Harris, great feed, Olenek, it won't fall over the rim. Loose ball, kicked around, foot raise, Pangos wins the battle. Who tips that for Gonzaga? Sorry, Greg, who tips that out? Mike Hart gets a fingertip on it, keeps it alive for GU. Pangos opening three-pointer is off. That's his first attempt from behind three tonight. 
Rockamore was held by Pangos, no call. Cowles from the corner. That's true. Four point game. And that's now the fifth Santa Clara player to make a three tonight. So you, that shows you just how important that three point shot is for this team. Harris, two more, 11 points. That's just Harrison Olenek going uh, to work. That's beautiful basketball. And I'm telling you, that's what makes him so difficult to guard. They force your post players to step out to beyond that, to around that three point line, and most guys aren't comfortable guarding out there. Perry Keating calling a timeout here as team trailing Gonzaga by six with a minute 44 to play first half. Guys, Gonzaga shooting at 60% from the floor, Santa Clara 46%. If you're Santa Clara, you gotta feel good about this. You trail by six, but Gonzaga shooting 60%, you only trail by six. Yeah, I, I think if you're Santa Clara, you're happy. You've got 12 buckets, nine of those are coming off assists. Uh, but you just don't have an answer for Olenek and Harris in particular around the ring. You see right there, GU's rankings in the WCC. Easily the best offensive team in the league. They shoot a high percentage, scoring nearly 81 points per game, and they share the basketball while taking care of it on their offensive end. The only area where they need to improve, particularly late in games, is free throws. You see right there, sub 70% for a team. Dan Gonzaga has already proven they can come into hostile environments this year and win basketball games. That effort against Oklahoma State, maybe the best game in a few years we've seen by Gonzaga. Oh, that was a phenomenal effort. Everybody seemed to make a big play down the stretch of that game for Gonzaga to pull it out. And Santa Clara has to prove that they're ready to contend for a title in this league. And regardless of the fact that it's a veteran team, many of them didn't play last year. Yeah, Trasselini's out all year. You had Foster facing suspension 18 games. But when it's done, it's given a lot of guys experience that might now be coming off your bench. And that's a real asset for Kerry Keating and his staff. As we near the one minute mark in this first half, six point game, Gonzaga leading with the basketball. 15 on the shot clock. Here's Bell. Driving left hand, blocked by Trasolini. Out of bounds, it'll be Gonzaga basketball, 11 on the shot clock. Just excellent help on that drill penetration. It's Trasolini's second block. You mentioned it at the top, Dan. He's tops in the WCC, and his partner Garrett's number two. You know, they challenge just about everything around the rim. Well, if you're a guard going in there knowing that, collapse the defense, look to make a play for a teammate. Olenek. Trasolini's career high is five blocks in a game. It came against Gonzaga back in 2010. Pangos from the corner for three, rimmed out. Hart with the rebound, new clock. That kid is everywhere. So many extra possessions are gained by Gonzaga from Mike Hart. And Olenek now will shoot free throws. And the fans of Santa Clara not enjoying that call. That's three personal fouls. Well, Dan, you mentioned what Mike Hart does. Let's take a look. Uh, here as Olenek gets fouled by Garrett. His third. Yeah, but previously, you know, Mike Hart, he is a nightmare for perimeter players. He's more of a four-man, really, in mentality, but he's flying in from the perimeter because he plays that three spot. And a lot of guys aren't, aren't used to having to turn, find a body, and box out. As a result, he gets his hands on a lot of offensive rebounds. Last four games, over two offensive rebounds per game. Olenek hits both free throws, now 16 points. Actually, this hasn't updated. I believe he's got 17 points now. Five rebounds for Kelly Olenek. He's seven of eight from the floor. And Santa Clara, with about three seconds differential between the two clocks, will drain it. It's an eight-point game right now. And five on the clock. Cowles with it. Got to do something. Here's Rockamore driving. And he was fouled. Not a great possession for Santa Clara offensively. Gonzaga, great defensive possession. But then you foul with one on the shot clock. That's good recognition from Rockamore, though. You got the footer out. And as good as Olenek is guarding perimeter players, he's not quick enough. And right there, Rockamore just looking to draw contact, not looking to get a shot, just hoping to draw the whistle, and he does. You know, for a point guard, he does a great job of getting himself 
to the free throw line, putting foul pressure. As a freshman two years ago, he was third in the country about getting to the free throw line behind Jared Solinger, ranked number one that year. Jared Solinger ends up being a, a lottery or an NBA draft pick by the Boston Celtics this past year. Olenek picks up his first personal foul. Gonzaga as a team just seven in that first half. Very disciplined start to this game for Gonzaga tonight. Yeah, they do an excellent job of playing defense without fouling. That's been really a calling card of this program. Starting about a couple years ago, it started really with Rob Zachary defensively. Big, physical, did a nice job challenging things at the rim without fouling. And I think the staff has done a nice job of expanding that with the rest of their front line. As a result, they usually get more free throws uh, and put teams in foul trouble. You see it already, Garrett with three fouls starting center for Santa Clara. Rockamore at the line, now with four points. He's one of three from the free throw line. Four point seven seconds. So Gonzaga's already got a play in mind here. Off the make or off the miss. Loose ball picked up by Cowles.